The Native Arts and Cultures Foundation left its first footprint in Portland on Friday, April 22nd by opening the Center for Native Arts and Cultures with an art exhibition featuring Grand Ronde tribal member Greg Archuleta. The previous owner of the 40,000-square-foot historic Yale Union Laundry Building, located at 800 Southeast 10th Avenue, signed an act of rematriation in 2019. Rematriation being a term meaning returning indigenous land back to indigenous people. In February of 2021, NACF and the center's CEO, Lulani Arquette, received the gifted building title with the specification that the space remains a space for art. And they did just that with the Where the Waters Come Together exhibition. As an organization that hasn't had a footprint in Portland, that we are mindful of the tribes that have been here for time immemorial. First series of programs are really focusing both on not only just the local tribal artists, but um, artists that have been in the area for a long time. That's Powhatan Confederacy descendant and the Vice President of Programs and Partnerships for NACF, Barbara Mumbi Huerta, during a tour of the center on Friday, April 29th. Um, and it's really about how the waters bring us together, which is kind of an homage to the building and the fact that we do sit on top of a, a tributary and how this was an area of confluence, an area of coming together. The inaugural exhibition featured seven Native artists and ranged from interactive three-dimensional pieces to 300-year-old artifacts. Archuleta's pieces displayed on their own wall in the gallery. A caption next to his work describes his passion for sharing the Grand Ronde tribe's economy and traditions. If you'd like to see the full exhibition for yourself, the gallery is open through June 30th, 2022, Wednesday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturday 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can also find out more by visiting nativeartsandcultures.org. Mumbi Huerta gave me a tour of the rest of the soon-to-be five-story building. She explained the center will remain open, as is, with exhibitions through fall of 2023. Then they plan to close for about 18 months for a major capital renovation. Opening in 2025 with a new black box theater, exhibition space, ceramic and painting art studios, woodworking space, healing and gathering areas, a rooftop garden, and more. Below the gallery floor where Archuleta's artwork displays is a dark basement. So dark that scenes from television shows like Grimm and Portlandia have been filmed there. Just under the basement floor, a tributary leading to the Willamette River runs beneath it. Mumbi Huerta says they plan to engineer a way to open up that floor so the community can once again have access to the water and turn that dark, slightly eerie basement into a community meeting space intended for reflection, healing, and gathering. Until then, the water remains guarded by this rubber ducky. The third level will be dedicated to artists. Flexible spaces will be put in for making art, painting, and ceramics. This floor includes a kitchen area and a future lounge area. Walk around a corner and you will find the ballroom. You can tell by my enthusiasm and echo that this space is big and surprisingly beautiful. Oh my gosh. Above this floor, a rooftop garden will be added during the renovations. According to the NACF's website, the vision is to create spaces for exhibitions, events, places to practice culture and making art, and areas for cultural ceremonies and celebrations to create a vibrant gathering place for indigenous artists. Mumbi Huerta says in September 2022, the Center for Native Arts and Cultures will be hosting its first large Native artist gathering with around 400 Native people from across the country. A community day will be held with traditional canoeing, exchanging of gifts, and an exhibition at the center with art, performers, and foods to welcome Indigenous people back into the space. <laughs>